Alrighty, well, good evening everybody, and, um, well, I called in sick from work today, um, just been having problems with a sinus infection for the past few days, so it just made it really hard to sleep. Um, so I just, I managed to take a nap or two instead, and, um, so otherwise I'm pretty much spinning my wheels, so I figured might as well make a, a metal music tier list, so, and, um, I will be having some music going in the background, uh, this is gonna be dark monastery chants uh gothic litanies but i played this kind of music before so those that have seen my other content are probably going to be familiar with this kind of music so let me go ahead and get that going and i do need to sound test this But anyway, um, like I said, this is going to be a, a metal music. It's a, I think it's a hard rock slash metal music tier list. Um, but I got my discard pile on the top. Just uh, music that I've never heard of. Or music that I've never actually listened to. Listened to very little of. Um, you know, or, or bands where I've heard the name of. But never actually listen to any of the music, you kind of get the idea. Then you got, you got fucking S tier up here, um, at the top, you got good solid metal underneath, and you got some fucking S tier music right here, but there's something about it that's really dragging it down though. So let me uh, sound check this once again. Okay, that's about right. Well, like I said, this is S tier music, or this would have been S tier music, but Something about it, it really brings it down. Um, then you got the the Ritalin version of this one. It just it's okay. It's not to write home about. And then um down here you got the this music is ass. Now from what I see of the top row here, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of clarifying on here. To my knowledge um, somebody, you know, feel free to correct me, but one, one big component of metal music is its anti-mainstream quality. Like, I think, um, back when, uh, back when Black Sabbath, I believe they were the first metal band, I think. Um, but, uh, all at that time, none of the music around, around, like, the late 60s, early 70s, 70s were satanic, or had satanic themes, um, had satanic themes to it, excuse me. Um, I forgot the guy's name, but he's a black British guy. Um, he was the one that's saying that. Bye off. I take you to burn. That one, that was supposed to be a, that was supposed to be a satanic song. That's the only one that I could think of, though. But going back to what I was saying, um, one of the one key component of metal was supposed to be uh, anti-mainstream. Well, the problem now is uh, a lot of the old metal is pretty much mainstream now. So, at least in my mind, it doesn't stand the test of time. So, one big standard I go by as to what tier these go on is how popular they are. So, I'm not... I mean, part of, I mean, part of the problem with mainstream media is, uh, is oversaturation. I kind of said this uh, on my other music genres tier list video that I did it just mainstream media has this really bad habit of overplaying stuff um, which creates it creates what, what I refer to as clockwork orange build up I, I don't want I don't want to explain the movie clockwork orange but just it, when, when something's when you're forced to listen to or watch something repeatedly over and over it gets to a point where you don't want to listen or watch watch it anymore so again you build up an aversion to it like again you don't want to hear it anymore but but if you if for some reason you can only listen to mainstream radio well guess what you're going to be hearing it again so but again a lot of the a lot of the old metal bands that were anti-mainstream are now mainstream so so, so again, I'm also tiering these 
on how well they stand the test of time. Like, it was good, you know, it was, it was good metal back then, but when it gets overplayed, now it's just basically pop music. So, so it isn't, it isn't just, it isn't just my own humble opinion. No, it's, I'm also basing it on popularity as well. So once again, I'm not, I'm not just some anti-mainstream hipster or anything like that. It's just, you know, many of the job, all the, most of not all the jobs I've worked over the years, I've had to listen to shit on mainstream radio. So this is what happens when something gets popular. It gets played repeatedly to where ad nauseum, that's the phrase I was work, looking for, ad nauseum, to where you don't want to hear it anymore. So, so it causes, it causes two instances. One, either A, I never really cared for the music to begin with, so now, them caught, you know, constant overplaying just means it becomes a canker sore in my mind. You know, we play it again, it's like, STOP! You know, or two, some of the music, some of that music I actually liked and thought was really awesome. Hey, cool, they're playing it on this radio station, awesome! Now they're playing it every hour. And then once again, you know, once great, you know, once great songs that I've heard over the years, I now don't like as much. I don't want to hear anymore. So you kind of get the idea. So, so but anyway, um, to get so that being said, ACDC, it's what happened to them. I can't stand them anymore. Um, when I first heard them, or I, this is one of those where. When I first heard them, uh, Back in Black, Highway to Hell, I was uh, indifferent to the music anyway. It was listenable, but that was it. But now again, this this is a band that got too popular. I'm at a point now where I don't want to hear this shit. I mean, hell, I, listen, I think they play Back in Black every day at Walmart. So yeah, uh, to me, that's pretty damn bad. Um, Alestorm, never heard of it. Pirate metal? Uh, I'll just go ahead and put up here. So, never heard of them. Alice in Chains? That's eh, alright. I think their first album, Dirt, I think that's the, I think that's the one. It has the song Wood at the end of it. That song I do like. But all the rest, I'm pretty much indifferent to. Um, popularity, surprisingly, I heard heard a lot of them back in the '80s, back in the '90s, but not really a whole lot ever since then. So, otherwise, yeah, it that'd be down there. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think. But yeah, other than like an, uh, an occasional spattering here and there, I don't really hear them that much, so they're all right. Um, in Mata Marth, I've heard the name. I think they do black metal, death metal, one of those, but again, I've never heard their music. Angra, never heard of them. No idea what that one is. Anthrax, same thing. I've heard the name. I think they did a they did like a collab with uh with Public Enemy, like Bring the Noise. Other than that song though, never heard any of their other stuff. Um Apocalyptica, never heard of them. Um Arch Enemy. If um if this is the one I'm thinking of, it has a female singer. But I've only heard like a small part of one of their albums. I mean, it's all right. Uh, but it's it's one of those that I don't hear very much. But like I said, um, female singer. Heard a little bit of their one of their albums. It it sounds okay. So. 
nothing really grabbed me. And then this one here, I have no idea what that symbol is. Um, asking Alexandra, I'm just gonna put here based on the name. There's like a uh, asking Alexandra, breaking Benjamin. I'm sure there's probably a coddling Cassandra, uh, breastfeeding Bobby, um, you know, cleaning Clarice, um, massaging Melissa, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It just never heard their music, but based on the name, I don't think I want to. For lack of a better phrase, I'd probably call it pussy metal. And kind of the same thing with here, Bob. Avantasia. Never heard their music, but based on the name, it's also too much like Fantasia. Not a very metal sounding name. I guess I'll go ahead and put baby metal there as well. Never heard of them, but I don't know. No. No. I'd rather you have, you know, I'd rather you have a name like Baby Killers or Baby Rapers than a name like Baby Metal. Not, not that I'd actually approve of that kind of activity, but you get the idea. It, I mean, to me, a metal band should have a metal name. So, um, Avenged Sevenfold. Heard the name. Uh, Beartooth, never heard of them. Behemoth. I think I heard an occasional song here and there. Uh, I I wouldn't be able to recognize any. I wouldn't be able to recognize Behemoth at all if you played any actual. If you if somebody actually played some for me at random, but from the very tiny little bit that I heard of Behemoth, they're okay. They're not too bad. Um, Black Sabbath. This is a band that got too fucking popular. I mean, but you gotta give it up for these guys. As far as I know, they're the ones that started it all. They are the foundation of metal. So, you gotta give them credit for that. But aside from that, though, again, they got too damn popular. You know, I... Too much of their... I hear too much of their... too. I hear too much of their music too often. Um, I, I hear them everywhere. So, they bs here, but they got overplayed. Um, I guess ACDC is a pretty legendary band, but God, I'm trying to think. ACDC doesn't, as far as I know, they don't, maybe they're older stuff, but as far as I know, I don't think any of their music involves satanic themes except for Highway to Hell. But uh, I think all the rest of their music is just, eh, so they can stay down here. Breaking Benjamin, same thing. Uh, Bullet for My Valentine. It sounds like a name, it's, it sounds like a bunch of high school kids made up that, made up that name, Butcher Babies, or Bring Me the Horizon. Never heard of them. Butcher Babies. Uh, it it Butcher Babies. It sounds like a. It sounds like it sounds like a name that Spinal Tap would have come up with, but on the other hand, too, Butcher Babies. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in uh, the discard pile. Cannibal Corpse, fucking S tier. Um, I haven't heard all their music. I think, but um, I'm gonna. I uh, kind of got a little ahead of myself. Okay, I'm kind of debating. I want to put them up here because none of their music gets played on the radio, to my knowledge. 
they are 100% anti-mainstream. Heck, I think um, some of their album covers has caused their music to be banned in some countries. So, yeah, fucking S tier right there. To me, Spirit of Metal. Now, as far as uh, how, mu um, how much do I like them? Um, Quality-wise, I'd probably call them good, solid metal. And it, it's kind of like, I think they're called grindcore. Like, I, I don't, I'm not real familiar with the uh, subgenres very well. You know, sometimes I just want to hear, you know, I sometimes I just don't want intelligible lyrics. So, when I'm in that kind of mood, Cannibal Corpse is perfect. So, and it's one of those. You don't even have to tell me the names of the songs or the name of the album. Just show me the cover and I'll be happy. Play the music and I'll be happy. So, Cannibal Corpse, fucking yes tier. Cradle of Filth. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in good solid. I know next to nothing about these guys. I have heard like one or two of their songs over the years. Sounds some, some good stuff. But I haven't heard like all their stuff, but uh But yeah, it my my opinion from what little I've heard of them, good solid metal. No idea what that is. Deep purple. Big mover and shaker. But again, like Black Sabbath, they got too popular. No. No. Def Leppard, no. I wouldn't even call it metal. Ah, uh, Deftones, a little I heard of them. No. Um, it's... I think I heard... I heard one of their albums. Um, like, it was like a top-down view of some girl some girl with like a tank top um I heard that album once many years ago like probably back in the 90s I thought it sucked so based on that it's ass it's just it's just that quiet sounding vocals but all of a sudden talk 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 that that kind So, no, thank you on that deal. I'm gonna go ahead and put put him there. The, uh, I'm the man on the silver mountain. You know, like, uh, Rainbow in the Dark. Um, there's like a few other Dio songs that often get played on the radio to excess. So, again, on one end, Big Mover and Shaker, the voice is legendary. Rest in peace, buddy, despite the fact I'm not religious. You know, but again, he got too popular. Disturb. Straight on the bottom. Um, down with the sickness. Mm. That I think they're one they're the ones who do that. Oh ah, 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 ah. So, no. Hated that shit ever ever since I first heard it. Um, Dawkins. Uh, I'm going to put it here. I'm not a fan of this. The only reason I got it in It's Alright is because if I had to choose, I would rather listen to this than Disturb. I would probably ra I would also rather listen to this than Believe It or Not, ACDC. Because I don't... I only... I only heard of Dokken, like, back in the late 80s, and that's it. I don't... I, can't recall hearing any of their music since. Um. Dragon Force. Definitely going down there. I think they were the... If I... I swear, the, that game Guitar Hero was probably inspired by this band, so... Never been a, never been a fan of the guitar work. I mean, personally, I would rather listen to The Cure than Dragon Force. So, yeah. On the bottom. Uh, Dream Theater. 
heard the name, never heard their music, the Louisville Light, or whatever that is, never heard of that, Nosferatu, never heard of that, I think that's what it says, Epica, never heard of them, Eskimo Callboy, never heard of them, um, Evanescence, not a fan of the band so it's it's also one of those where I think I heard the main I'll just go ahead and put down here um, if for no other reason that it, it started off with piano their their main uh, title track and I'm gonna have to uh, make some adjustments here It's gonna be a problem. Let's see how I do this. So I'm gonna have to shrink it down some. Okay, but like I said, it started off with just piano. It's, but it's gonna be a it's gonna be another major sore point with me. Bands that have vocals that start off that Kind of like, uh, kind of like Deftones. When you have music that sounds like, but then sound all soft and gentle and sounding like this. I hate that. It, either, either you're metal or you're not metal. Evanescence kind of strikes me like that. It's like they're trying to, they're trying to be in two places at once. It doesn't really work. Exodus. Um, never heard the music, but um, I do know that uh, I believe Joe, Sa legendary guitarist Joe Satriani, is in the band, and I might be wrong about this, but the guitar player in Primus, uh, Larry Lamond, I think he was also in Exodus. So, uh, despite that. I'm gonna have to put it up here. I've never actually heard any music. Following in reverse. Okay, uh It sounds almost like a bunch of high school kids came up with that name. I'm just gonna go go ahead and put it up there anyway. And no idea what that one is. No idea what that is. Get scared. Uh, I'll just never heard of that. Ghost. Um, never heard of them, but I did watch. Um, I watched an Amoeba Records video, or that I had a uh, one of the guys in Ghost. He had like a kind of a dark black dark gray devil mask but I never heard any of their music though but just thought I'd put that out there uh, God smacked same thing I think there's like one song I like from them I think it's called voodoo but all the rest of them not a fan uh, Gojira never heard of them Hailstorm, never heard of them. Hammer Tom, never heard of them. Hammerfall, heard the name, heard the name, never heard the music. Halloween, same thing. Only heard the name. Ice Nine Kills. No idea what that is. Infant Annihilator. Never heard of that one. Um, Iron Maiden. I don't... I'm going to go ahead and say, despite the fact that I've heard very, very little of their music, I'm going to put them there in good solid. I've heard very little of their music, but I... I can't... I can't think of any songs off the top of my head that they've played on the radio. So I'll... 
I'll give him a solid. Um, Ginger, never heard of him. Uh, Judas Priest. I mean, they're another big mover and shaker. Um, breaking the law. You got another thing coming. There's at least one or two more that I that I hear all the time on the radio throughout the years. So they got a little too popular, so they'd be great otherwise. Uh, kill, switch, and gauge. I've heard the name. But actually, now that I think about it, I've heard the name a lot. Never heard any either. I don't recall hearing any of their music, but again, I'm constantly hearing this name thrown around, so it's definitely a band I probably wouldn't be into. Corn, um, same thing. I like their, I think their first album is Peach. I think it's like the, the album cover is like a swing set or something. Um, back in the 90s, when I first heard them, I thought they were okay. Over the years, it just got to where I couldn't stand them. Um, Corpo, whatever the hell that is, never heard of them. Caius, never heard of them. Here we go. Lacuna Coil, only heard the name. Uh, Lamb of God. Listen to him a little bit. Um, they're okay. But like I said, I haven't... I think I heard maybe little tiny bits and pieces of their music. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna take a drink of some, uh, Arizona green tea. Just a second. Ah, Led's up, and you all know where this is going. Limp Bicket. Limp Bicket. Limp Biscuit, definitely going in there. Lincoln Park, same thing. Off the top of my head, on the crawling in my skin. That one? No. So, probably like asking Alexandra and, um, Breaking Benjamin, and it's, to me, it's like it's pussy metal. You got some, uh, very not metal guys trying to sound metal. I have no idea what that is. Lost Society, never heard of them. No, I no idea what that is. Man of War, um... I believe they're the precursor to to Guar. Like real theatrical. Um I'm trying to think. I haven't heard any of their unfortunately, I haven't heard any of their music, so I'll just go ahead and put it up there. Uh Marilyn Manson. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put here good solid, but I'm kind of averaging it out between fucking S tier and then fucking S tier. But they had a they had a big time heyday back in the '90s when they first came out, or actually no, it was um, Sweet Dreams Are Made of These and then Antichrist Superstar. That. Or I'm talking the album, and then um, the beautiful people, super popular during the '90s. After that, I don't. They basically fell off the map. I haven't heard much from them since. They were still putting out music and stuff. So, otherwise, no, musically, especially uh, "Smells Like Children." Oh God, what an album! So that album there was fucking S tier. Um, Antichrist Superstar, legendary album, got way popular, so, but again, after, after that album, I hadn't, they, again, despite them actually putting out music, 
I haven't heard a whole lot from him. So, so again, I'm averaging it out between these two tiers here. Good, solid middle. Uh, Mastodon. Uh, heard the name. Might have heard some of their music. I have I have heard some of their music, but I can't I can't place it. So let's move along. Mayhem, fucking S tier, just like Cannibal Corpse. They're hardcore. They're as far as I know, they're hardcore devil worshippers. None of their music's ever gonna get played on mainstream radio. That alone, fucking S tier. Spirit of Metal, right here. And like I said at the start of this video. This kind of music stands the test of time. You'll never hear these guys on radio. Megadeth. Uh, good solid. Kind of the same thing. I think the only song I, I know of that got heavy radio play was us. Symphony of Destruction. The rest... The rest I haven't heard. So... But yeah, they're another favorite of mine. I This is going to come out wrong, but I think they got softer. I got Rust in Peace is definitely one of my all-time favorite metal albums. But the one the Countdown to Extinction, I think was the one they did after that. Um the one they did after that one, I don't know the name of it, but uh I really don't want, most certainly for lack of a better phrase, but they got soft. They got soft. You know, the the edge wasn't quite there. But anyway, anyway. Anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on good and solid. Uh Mashuga. I'm gonna put here. I think I've heard one of them. I heard a song, if not an album, but it's, I would put in good solid, but again, I haven't really heard enough of them to draw a conclusion from, so I'll just go ahead and put them here. It's all right. Uh, Metallica, these guys are all over the freaking place. So, like I did with Marilyn Manson, to average them out, just gonna put them right smack in the middle. When they first started out, they were fucking S-tier, but from the Black Album on, they basically, it, to me, basically, they went pussy. But again, you can't deny what they've done. So you can't deny the impact, so I'm putting them right in the middle. Mick Gordon, uh, Killer Instinct, and I believe uh, Doom. Um, I'm just putting them on fucking S-tier, or him, I should say. But yeah, Killer Instinct 2013, Doom 2016. I still um, I still listen to the YouTube live stream to this day. So yeah, they are fucking S tier, and that kind of music. I doubt seriously you're gonna hear them on mainstream radio. Um, I don't know what that is. Motionless and White. Never heard of them. Motley Crue. Um, I'm just putting down here. But to be fair, I'll put up here. Normally my tiers are round table tiers. So there's they're all pretty much equal. They all contribute in their own way. I don't some people will like to put a will have tiers within a tier list on it. I'm still going. Oh, I thought the um, not the album was over. But anyway, oh, I forgot what I was talking about. But Motley Crue, kind of, kind of this, kind of this, or what I was trying to say is, uh, most people when they do these tier lists, they actually have tiers within that tier list. Like, the best one in that tier will be on the left, the worst one on the right. Not with me. Most of the time, they're all equal. So, but this is going to be one of those exceptions. 
can't... I mean, they got too popular, music's too annoying, but at the same time, they're one of the big movers and shakers in the glam rock. Glam rock, so can't deny that. Regardless, still can't stand them. So, but, they're... I guess I'd rather listen to Motley Crue, The Limp Biscuit, or Lincoln Park. Or Dragon Force, or Deftones. Ah, uh, Motorhead. Good and solid. I have their first two albums on vinyl. Good stuff. Um, their 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 song Ace of Spades. It's played. The shit's played at nauseum. But aside from that, I don't think they played any of their other music on radio. So, so yeah, good solid metal right there. And take it another drink. Uh, Mudvayne. I heard one of their albums a very long time ago, probably back in the 90s. They're the ones that have that, they have that, their first song is Dig, that ding, 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 ding. every day, one more day, or something like that. Um, they're all right. Mushroom Head, heard the name, never heard their music. Napalm Death. I actually, the name is very familiar. I can't. I had to. I know I've heard some music. I just, I. It's it's the music's on the tip of my tongue. I know I've heard Napalm Death somewhere. Um, Necro, Vegas. Ah, uh, New Year's Day, never heard of them. Ah, uh, Nightwish. Uh, on one end, the music in and of itself fucking S tier. But, like some of these others, I think they got too popular. And uh, they, I believe Nightwish was totally unique. For those that don't know, Nightwish is a metal band that also has an opera singer. But uh, I think they were, um, where are they? Where are they? I want to say Evanescence. Evanescence was, a uh, was, a. Uh, it sounded like they were trying to copy Nightwish. But, um, uh, on the other hand, uh, I'm, I'm mentally debating right now. But basically, Nightwish got popular. So it just... I mean, I've heard other bands that try to do the same thing. They try to have an opera singer in their group. It's very hard for me to explain, but this should have been the only band that did what they did. There shouldn't have been clones or copies. They, you know, there shouldn't have been other people that tried to sound like them. So... Um, Nine Inch Nails, uh, good solid, again, kind of like, um, uh, kind of like Marilyn Manson, they had a big time heyday back in the 90s, the Downward Spiral, side, or, side two of Downward Spiral is still one of my all time favorite things to listen to, um, it's one of those things I like to play when I'm depressed, when I'm like really, really depressed. Um, aside from the, aside from the last track on side two, Hurt, which is a song I'm sick and tired of hearing, but it's also one of those rare exceptions when you put it in the context of side two, it fits perfectly. So, but like Marilyn Manson, I didn't really whole lot hear a whole lot of Nine Inch Nails after that, after Downward Spiral. To me, I think they just pretty much fell off the map. So, ah, um, Nirvana. <laughs> pretty sure you all know where this is going. 
No, to be fair, they weren't the first ones that were doing grunge music. That honor goes to Soundgarden. They were doing that kind of music back in, uh, I think, the early 80s. So, I guess in a sense, Soundgarden invented grunge. Nirvana perfected it. At least that's how I look at it. But again, like, like a lot of these others, they got popular. So, Obscure Sphinx, never heard of them. Of Mice and Men, never heard of them. Opeth, um, never heard of them, never heard their music. The lead singer, I think it's who it was. I watched an episode of Amoeba Records where a musician, no, um, it's like a Amoeba, Amoeba employees will follow them around, record them, check out records, and then, and then record them, uh, showing what they got and why. Um, but yeah, I watched uh, the Opeth, one of the guys in Opeth get his uh, music. So, but otherwise, never heard their music. Pantera, fucking S tier. One of my, um, one of, if not the favorite, um, let, let me rephrase that. One of, if not the all time favorite metal band. And, um, I can only recall Cemetery Gates I've heard on the radio. Walk I've heard on the radio. Planet Caravan, I heard it on the radio a lot back in the 90s. Hadn't heard much from him since. So, yeah, like I said, one of, if not the all-time favorite metal bands. Uh, Papa Roach. Heard the name. Never heard their music. Pearl Jam. Y'all know where that one's going. Pentagram. Heard the name. The name. Never heard their music. Uh, Queensryche. Yeah, it's all right. They're not really that well known. Um, their Promised Land album is definitely in my top. Definitely in my top five all-time favorite albums. Um, but otherwise, they're okay. But like I said, uh, oh god, what's the name of it? Empire on their uh, Empire album. Um, Silent Lucidity. That was a song that got played a lot, but otherwise, nothing else really. I know uh, I Am I got played when um, when the when the Promised Land album came out. That song was very popular, but it died off as quickly as it started. So. Rage Against the Machine, same thing. I mean, they're they're big time, they're big time anti-capitalist, but uh, but the the machine that they refer to eventually uh, actually assimilated them instead of just you know instead of just secretly assassinating the lead singer. Or, you know, secretly assassinating Tom Morello or, you know, stuff like that, which would only have just made martyrs out of them. They basically marketed them. And I think, um, I read an interview with the, uh, Mark Mothersbaugh. I think he was, uh, the founding me uh, the lead singer in Devo, or one of the founding members of Devo. I think he talked about it, too. I mean, they don't, uh, they discovered that, uh, or the higher powers that be discovered that, you know, there's no point in assassinating these guys, at these rabble rousers, you know, because again, you're just gonna make martyrs out of them. Instead, market them. That's pretty much what happened to Rage Against the Machine. They, uh, I mean, well, part of it too, they were shooting themselves in the foot. I think they were selling tickets, they were selling merch, you know, selling merchandise. So they were kind of, they're kind of contradicting themselves. But yet, I don't know, in the greater scheme of things too, I mean, MTV made a big stink about them, you know, made them popular, you know. They're, uh, they, they got them involved in the marketing. They pushed them into the marketing machine. So, I think now they're being seen as a bunch of sellouts. Although, again, back when they first started, they weren't like that at all. 
and I think they said so themselves. Um, some alignment with the machine was necessary. They had to, you know, they had to make money to pay the bills so they can keep it going. But again, once again, um, the the machine just basically pulled the Borg and assimilated them. So, and it should also be said too that later on, um, another rage against the machine would form. Consisting of Chuck D of Public De Public Enemy, Tom Morello, B Real of Cypress Hill, and I think there was one or two more members part of that group too. That I don't know if they're still touring to this day, but they did a uh, they did resurrect Rage Against the Machine out of the ashes of that. That might have also been one of the reasons why they disbanded. I think they did that because perhaps because they too saw the writing on the wall that you know they just they basically got tricked into becoming part of the machine, so I think they disbanded after that. At least that's what I would like to think. So yeah, I could probably make a whole video on this. So, anyway, moving along, um, Ramstein. Good solid metal. And I can only, I can only recall one single song being played on shit radio. Uh, it was, it was important that went, you, you must, you must list. Nothing else was played on shit radio, though. Fab sign, good solid metal. Rings of Saturn, never heard of them. Uh, Rob Zombie. I wish he would have called. I wish he would have called this White Zombie, and not Rob Zombie, because Rob Zombie, the person, I saw him on the uh, on a Joe Rogan podcast. He's a cool as hell guy, but as far as musically, the White Zombie, never been a fan of the music, just didn't get into it. And like these other ones up here, they got popular. Um, Oh God, I, I know I the song's in my head. I don't know the name of it, but especially in the '90s, it was pretty popular. Actually, no, I take that back. Let me up. Uh... <sighs> yeah, sorry guys, you're kind of trapped down here at the bottom. I can't, I can't think of a reason to put you guys in. It's all right. So, um, Sabaton, never heard of them. Seether? Oh, I was thinking Weezer. Otherwise, Seether, never heard of them. Sabotura, a bucking S tier. Brazil's finest right there. So, I listened to a bunch of their albums. I have their Blood Rooted album. Blood Rooted, I think it's like a. It's a bunch of uh, alternative versions of their studio tracks and stuff like that, live versions. Um, their previous album, I think it's Roots. It's either Roots or Roots, Bloody Roots. I don't know which one. I got those two albums. I've heard their uh, Chaos AD album. Uh, oh, God. The one before it, Arise. It doesn't ring a bell, but I I do know about that album. But yeah, otherwise, yeah, these guys are fucking ass tier right here. And on top of that, I don't think any of their songs have ever been played on mainstream radio. So huge plus right there. Um, Seven Dust, heard the name, never heard their music. Skid Row. What? I've heard their music, but their music's on the tip of my tongue, but... God, I'll just go ahead and put them up here. 
I know I had to have heard some of their music, but... Anyway, moving along. And... As it's been almost an hour, it's been 50 minutes now. Yeah, I'm... Fortunately, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to kind of... Kind of hurry a bit. Uh, Skillet. Never heard of them. Skyfire. Never heard of them. No idea what that is. Ah, Slayer. Uh, I heard one of their song, one of their albums many years ago, probably in the 90s. Um, the one that goes, Why the war? Why the war? Or something like that. I heard that album, and I don't recall any of their music any of their music ever being played on mainstream radio. So I'll go ahead and put them in good solid metal. Um, Slipknot. I heard a little bit of their music. I think kind of like Marilyn Manson, they probably had the heyday back in the 90s when they first got popular, but I think they fell off the map after that. But, um, Musically, it, it it's listenable, but again, like like I said about some of these others, nothing to write home about. Soundgarden, walking S tier. I actually, uh, wait, wait, I need to pause on this one. And I believe Soundgarden was the original grunge band. Like I said, I, they've been doing this since the uh, early to mid '80s. So they beat Nirvana, Pearl Jam, I think Alice in Chains. They were also classified as grunge as well. Songard beat them by almost 10 years old. And musically, good stuff. And aside from, um, aside from Super Unknown, the album itself was popular back in the 90s. But, um, and uh, a few of the tracks were also pretty popular back then as well. I mean, Super Unknown was, I think it was almost the Boston, you know the the band Boston, their self-titled debut. I think a uh, Super Unknown was almost the grunge equivalent of Boston, because it was popular as hell, and a uh, and a, a lot of the tracks on that album was played on the radio. But after that, I think they pretty much died off. Um, their the album after that, I don't know the name of the album, but uh, Blow Up the Outside World was played on the radio fairly often but at some point after that they they pretty much fell off I think Chris Cornell he went on a solo career but again he there might have been a, there might have been a song or two that they're still playing but but otherwise still they're good enough to be in fucking S tier though Spirit Box never heard of them Static X never heard of them Stradivarius, never heard of them. Suicide Silence, same thing. Symphony X, never heard of them. Um, see, System of a Down. Um, ah. Uh, gonna go ahead and say at least as far as the first album goes I know um and kind of like a uh, super unknown there was there um the album itself was fairly popular back in the 90s and some a good chunk of the tracks were also very popular as well but after that didn't really hear a whole lot from them Um, Tala, never heard of them. T-56, I guess that's what that is. Testament, heard the name, never heard any music. Uh, the Pretty Reckless, never heard of them. Three Days Grace, heard the name, never heard the music. Tool fucking S tier. And 
kind of like them. Anima is... Hey, Anima's a freaking classic. But yeah, um, but aside from that album there, aside from that album there, and, uh, then, uh, the fact that, uh, the very first track on their album, Stink Fist, MTV didn't like that name, so they, uh, changed it to track number one, but, um, I freaking love what the guitar player said about that. If Madonna would have made a song and called it Stink Fist, MTV would have called it Stink Fist. If Madonna would have called it Bloody Cum Fart, MTV would have called it Bloody Cum Fart. People are actually asking MTV, people are actually asking MTV about that, and MTV's answer was, well, that's Madonna. And it, but yeah, I, I still, I still remember that response to this day. I think he's, it was an interview that um. I can't remember the guitar player's name now. It ain't Danny Carey. I think he's the drummer. Adam Jones. Yeah. It, but yeah, like I said, these guys, this is S tier metal right here, or hard rock, I should say. Um, but kind of like some of these other bands, they're known for Inema. Um, Undertow somewhat, the song Sober is extremely popular. But aside from that, Sober, Inema, not very, I mean, the mainstream doesn't really know about them other than those, so yeah, good enough to be an S tier. Um, Trivium, never heard of them. <laughs> so it's a sister. Um, for all that, norm, I actually would have had them down here, I mean, we're not going to take it, it's way too damn popular, and yeah, way too popular. So, otherwise, I'd have him down here, but just for, for all that D. Snyder has done for the world, I'm putting him in good solid metal. Type O negative, walking S tier. This is enough. I love their, um, their October Rust album. But again, Kind of like these other ones, um, Bloody Kisses, and the very first, and the, um, the first track on that album, A Christian Woman. Otherwise, the rest of their stuff, nobody really knows about, so, good enough to be fucking asked here. And especially October Rust, I still play that album to this day. So, Ultra Violence, never heard of them. Beljarta, I guess never heard of that. Void beat or Voldemort or whatever that says, never heard of them. While she sleeps, that's a name that sounds like um, a bunch of damn high school kids. While she sleeps, I raped her. <laughs> I'll go ahead and put up here. Yeah, I never heard of it. Whitechapel, never heard of that. And with them, Temptation, never heard of that. So. <laughs> there is much metal that I don't know of. So, but otherwise, well, here's the list. And. Unlike most, and unlike most other people that make tier lists, this is pretty much set in stone right here. I already know what I want, and most of the stuff I have, most if not all the stuff I have on here is firm. So I have no need to, to suddenly start shifting everything around and all that. No need to analyze it. So what you see is what you got. And I'm gonna take another drink here. So, but, but yeah, like I said, uh, that's the list, and uh, I hope it, uh, hope it wasn't too disappointing, or hope it wasn't too disappointing, or, or <laughs> I'm trying to keep a straight face to what I say this, but I hope it wasn't too offensive. 
But I mean, part of the, I mean, a key component of metal is, you know, offending people, you know, trying to hit people in such a way that they hadn't anticipated. And at the same time, you're, 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 get, you're tossing out the middle, you're sticking out the middle finger to the mainstream as well. So, so yeah, um, but otherwise, yeah, that's my list. And that's good. That's going to do it for this video. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.